we have here S Stephen Baker, coach of the uh, Central Bebington Shield squad. Steve, it's, it's really uh, important that you guys have put your hands up and, and come forward to coach this side. You're enjoying it? Loving it. Yeah. Yeah, so, so um, I talked to the boys on Thursday and I said, you know, what, what's rugby to them? And, and to me, it's not winning. It's about, you know, friendships, memories um, that you can talk about when you get older. And um, so that's sort of been our focus as this group is just to build the friendships between yes. the clubs. Winning will come if you do that. Winning will come after that and um, also just creating memories. So Yeah, you've got to be pretty pleased the way they've performed. I mean, you've taken on Wairapa Bush yep. down at Memorial Park in Masterton on the turf, on the, turf, on the cricket yeah. pitch. Um, and I've talked to some of the boys about that. Um, quite amazing that, that they're playing rugby on there. Did, were there any injuries suffered from that game through that uh, artificial? One, well, I think we had one that came came out quite scarred up, but um, through, really through the through turf. That, just through the turf. Yeah. Well, I can imagine. You know, these these malls and and rucks, if you like to call them, going down hard on on that yeah. stuff. It was more if you make a break and you get tackled, you just you're sliding across that. Turf, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, even when we went down to White Upper, it was, uh, it was part of what I just talked about, that experience. Yes, yeah. So, like, none of the boys had played on that artificial before, so... No, that's right. So it's, it's something experience. that they can talk about in years to come. Yeah, It yeah. might never happen again, so... Yeah. yeah. And then you went on to Horofanua Kapiti, an another good game there, uh, another... Uh, uh, well, you you lost, but you can... So I understand reading the, the write-ups and that. I never saw either game, but... Um, you contested really well, yep. and um, you're you're playing these Heartland teams. Yeah. So if we sum up our season, we'd probably look back and think we've missed the start on all our games. Yes. Uh, again today as well, but we definitely missed it against Wild Upper. We went 19 nil down, I think, after 10 minutes. Uh, yeah. Thought if we knew it might have been 17 nil, but um, in between, you know, we we more than showed our worth and competed with these yeah. teams. Um, but getting back to Horofanua, um we actually owe a lot to them. They were the ones who gave us our first opportunity. Yes. Um, yeah. And, and gave us that exposure. So all these other unions and that are approaching us. Now Jumping on board. Because of that. And, yeah. Um, that's the other thing with Horofanua is going back to what I said, they create a lot of memories after the game as well. Yes. Um, so we had a good time with them. Yeah. Um, we have now for three years. But um, it's just something, a lot of the boys are buzzing after the after match. Yeah. Just talking about, um, yeah, it's one of those ones you just keep to yourself. But it, it's a memory, and it's that, something that the boys will remember and talk that's about. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And uh, I mean, even uh, me thinking back, I, I've still got vivid memories of of playing for Ongatiko, yeah. Takapa, um, back in the day, and and playing rep rugby for Central, and managing to make the Hawks Bay Country team in a trip yeah. up the East Coast. Yep. Yeah memories that I'll never forget and they're all so vivid still in my mind and and, and I think you're right that's it, that's what it's all about it's playing it's camaraderie and and having those memories to share and the odd bit of brilliance that you might yeah. have on the yeah. field yeah. And, and and winning we're not all blacks we're not going to go and win every game and beat the world but we're going to go and have fun we're gonna, yeah. you're still giving people the opportunity exactly. to become an all black exactly. um, or, yeah. or further themselves and make steps um, that, let's be honest I'm not getting for whatever reason through um other rip teams in the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And, and then moving on from Horrifanu Kapiti, you played Manawatu Maori last week, and, and you and you came up with a with a good win there, a good another good contest, yeah. but um, a good victory. Yeah. The, the best thing about that game was we were able to take it out there. Yep. Um, I, I think a lot of guys would have touched on it, but we're pretty big on uh, bringing the communities together. Yes. Yeah. Um, Taking the games around, giving everyone a taste of, you know, there's a lot of boys that wouldn't have played out of tech before. No. I, I know no. I haven't played there. No. I still haven't. Yep. Um, and then the same again today here at Waipara. Um, these guys that haven't even trained, haven't, didn't even know this place was here. Exactly. But, um, exactly. Coronation they can come Park. and experience yeah. it. Um, we're, in the, we're in the home changing room, so I've played here, but I've never been in the home changing room. Just little things like that. Yes. That you can, yes. Yeah. Yeah, you can just sort of relate back to and... and in the future and just yeah, talk yeah. about it. And last year, I mean, you took a Bebbington Shield challenge out to Tiko, yeah, yeah, that was. to the Onga Tiko ground, and a tremendous day. That was pretty cool. Yeah. That's probably just about up there with one of our highlights so far. Was, um, a very good host out there. Yeah, it was just an unreal day, like, yeah, it was just, yeah. Yeah. 
hundreds of people. We wish we could have done it this year. Um, their time will come again. Yeah. We'll keep moving it around, but um, we can't wait till we get back there. Right, cool. And I've, I've asked the question on um, from, from others. What's the future of the Bebington Shield? Yeah, it's a hard one. So we, we, we're pushing for challenges, um, and I'm sure Dills have mentioned this, but for whatever reason, there's no no traction at the other end. No. Um, it's steeped uh, in history. Yeah, I it mean, is, that, it is, and um, that's I think was the main driving point because we started to learn the history behind yes. it. Yes. And we didn't want it to disappear, but um, we still have aspirations to to recreate it, yep. get those teams back. Um, I think Dills might have even mentioned we, we might even try and call a meeting between all subunions. Yes. And just just try and get some traction, whatever it may be, just so we know where we're heading and what we need to do to get it to go again. Um, in the last two years, I, I know subunion in general has, has taken off again. Yes. Um, yeah. South Island's rolling. There's heaps of teams in the North Island now, like. For whatever reason, yeah, it's up and running again, so... Yeah, so hopefully, I mean, our interview today will go on to, um, up on YouTube on Onga TV. Have you got a message for some of these sub-unions that you might like to...? For me, it's just... Um, sub-union rugby is a chance for players that don't get opportunities, but also um, it's real grassroots. Yes. It's real grassroots. Yes, like, it is. Um, it's so inclusive too in the way that so many clubs are included. Um, well, we, we had every club represented out here again this, this weekend. Um, but let's go. I reckon we, we, we try and crack it up and get it moving again. Yeah, so, it does. It, give, it gives a, the grassroots an opportunity to play in these, these rep fixtures for something that means something. Yep. That Bevington Shield oh, dates back over a hundred years. Yep. So, that's, sitting um, in, that's sitting in my wardrobe, ready to go. Even is that? It, yeah, and um, yeah, we want to put it up. We want it, we want it to get it back out there. We want, um, obviously we want to hold it, but if we lose it, we lose it, so be it. And yeah. we just, yeah, it just needs to get out there again and those games need to happen, I think. I was lucky enough to play in the very first Bevington Shield Challenge yep. by a Central Hawks Bay team. And I, um, I'm thinking now it was Northern Whanganui. And, and we lifted the shield that day on our very first challenge. And it's another memory that I'll never forget. Yeah. And the Bibbington Shield is just something I don't want to see die because yeah. it meant a hell of a lot to me to be and, and the rest of the my mates that played on that, yeah, well, that my occasion. Fondest, my fondest memory is the Bibbington Shield as well. Um, I think we went to Pong at all. Yes. Won it. Uh, I don't know how we won it. It was on a Sunday, everyone was pretty healthy the next day after a Saturday night. Exactly. We did it. Yeah. And then that was sort of the start of it, really. Like you understood what it was. It's the Ram for the Shield, I suppose, of the of the subunions. Of the subunions, yeah. yeah. And um, yep. ever since then, uh, yeah, yeah, I just loved playing for it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, whether it was for the Shield or just the fact that all the clubs were coming together as one, yep. uh, it always made it something you wanted to play. Yep. And, and it brought the best out of a lot of players. Like um, boys out there today, I know these boys out there today that probably for whatever reason, played a little bit better because they were in a different yeah. environment and whatnot. But um, at the end of the day, it's a rip team. Yeah. yeah. I, I love the way you're, you're giving these younger guys a chance, these Colts from Ongatiko, and they stood out there today. Oh, I, they've I, stood out the whole season, to be honest. Um, I think we had a couple back in the first game and chucked a couple out towards the end. And yeah. They stood out straight away and we're like, shit, here we go. Yeah. Okay. Next game, we sort of give them a bit more time and they've just honestly been the standout. So yeah. Far, uh, if there's anything that stood out the most, it's been it's been the Tico boys. Yeah, cool. Um, and it's just another reason why these games should be played. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and it can yeah. only be healthy for the yeah. club rugby because, you know, all of a sudden there's four or five boys out here that are playing Colts at the moment that they've had a taste of that next level. So, yep. OK, they might go to a premier club next year. Wherever they go, they, they know what yeah. they're in for and um, they've had a taste for it. Exactly, really. exactly. So, Hey Steve, thanks so much for what you're doing as far as uh, rep rugby go and, and you, all your assistance. Yep. It's bloody tremendous because as the boys well know, without you guys and without the administrators further down the track, none of this would be possible. So yeah. thanks no, very much, mate. Bloody good on you.